Hi, I'm Gabish and let's start this easy step-by-step -step tutorial to protect your digital investments such as your NFTs and or cryptocurrencies. Alright, let's go! So step 1, go to the description and get yourself a hardware wallet. Mine is a ledger, but you also have Trezor. Both brands are trustworthy. You find the official links in the description and just like underwear, never buy a used ledger from someone else on the secondary market. Hey, what difference does it make? Underwear is underwear! Only buy such wallets from official shop because you don't want to buy a fake one with pre-installed virus. Your options are quite simple. There is a Ledger Nano S and a Ledger Nano X. And there is also a Ledger Nano S Plus coming out very soon which has a bigger screen and more memory. Nano S is perfect for the small investor or beginner. This one is cheaper but it's limited to three applications. If you own multiple coins that you wish to store, it's better to go for the Nano X which has space to store up to 1 100 crypto assets at the same time. Both also work to secure NFTs. With Trezor, you have the Model 1, the cheaper version, and Model T, which is the more premium device. Now, personally, I bought the Ledger Nano X, so I will continue to show the setup with this specific model. This tutorial also applies exactly to the Ledger Nano S as well. Now, for Trezor, the principles will be similar, but as it's another brand, there will be some differences. Once your Ledger or Trezor arrives, it's time to unbox your package. As we're talking about security, be sure to check that your box is unopened by verifying if the plastic is not damaged. Inside you have the hardware wallet and one connection cable. This is a Nano X, therefore this model can also connect through Bluetooth and will not be needing this too often. The cheaper version, the Nano S, doesn't support Bluetooth. You also find a piece of paper with some numbers. This will be for your seed phrase or recovery phrase, which works as your password. Did you ever hear that story about this man who lost millions worth of bits? Bitcoin because he lost his hardware wallet. Don't need to worry about that happening to you with your ledger because if you lose your hardware wallet or get stolen, you can still recover everything with your recovery phrase. More about that in a minute. Now let's install this bad boy. I will start off by showing the official way of sending cryptocurrencies in and out using their program Ledger Life. But there is also an alternative method with Metamask which works for both cryptocurrencies and NFTs. More about this later in the video. First, install Install the application Ledger Live on your Apple or Android device. You can also install it on your computer through the Ledger website. I will leave a link in the description for the installation. Now pair your Ledger to your device. Turn on your Ledger by clicking on the left button. If you have issues to connect with your Bluetooth, you can also use the cable to connect to your device. Now that your ledger is connected to your device, select the option Install App on your ledger. You can use the button on the left and the right to navigate through the menu. Click on both buttons at the same time to confirm your selection. Create your PIN code. Confirm your code again. Now you need to fill in the paper with your recovery phrase. This is like your password. This is confidential, so nobody can know what you're writing on this piece of paper. Write down each word in the exact order. You start with the first word, click on the right button on the ledger to go to the second and so on. It's important that you only write it down once. Never take a picture of these words and don't show it to anyone else. Keep it somewhere safe in a place only you know where to find it. In the unfortunate case you lose your hardware wallet, you can still recover all your crypto and NFTs with the recovery phrase. If you're afraid this piece of paper might be destroyed with time, because paper is quite fragile, you can do like me and order a metal plate which is water resistant to engrave your words so they don't fade away with time. Once you write down all your words, you need to confirm the exact order of those words on your ledger. Again, use the two buttons on the left and right and click on both to confirm each word one by one. Your ledger is now ready. Let's install applications on your ledger through the Ledger Live app. Go to Manager, install the application you wish, for example Bitcoin, Ethereum and so on. You have quite the possibilities. Now that you've installed the applications you need, we can transfer your crypto to your wallet. I will also show you in a minute how you can transfer your NFTs. But be sure to already install the Ethereum application if you're planning on putting NFTs in your wallet. Just a quick side note, the cryptocurrencies and NFTs will not go literally inside the device. They stay on the blockchain but are now protected with the physical ledger as a key. First, to add a cryptocurrency, go to Accounts. 
Let's pick Bitcoin as an example. Click on receive because the ledger will now receive your coins. Confirm this action on your device and on your ledger. Your address will appear on your screen. You will need to send your crypto that is still on your crypto exchange and you will need to send this to your ledger. Let me show you on Bybit as an example, but it will be the same for any other exchange. Go to your crypto portfolio, select the crypto you wish to send and click on withdraw. Copy paste the wallet address as the destination. Confirm. Congratulations, your crypto is now stored on your ledger device. Now, how do we take it back out? In the accounts tab, click on the crypto you wish to export. Click on send, and now we will send this crypto back to your crypto exchange. Go to Bybit or the crypto exchange you use and click on deposit or receive. Your receiving wallet address will now appear. Copy this address on Bybit and paste it in the Ledger Live app. Now you can also just simply scan the QR code with your camera. Confirm the transaction and it's done. Your crypto is now back from the Ledger to the online crypto exchange platform. Let's see how we can do this with NFTs. Personally, I find it easier to work with MetaMask on my computer. So let's do the transfer over there. I suppose you already have a MetaMask account as most NFT holders use MetaMask to mint their NFTs. If not, simply download the extension at metamask.io and create your account. We will first connect the hardware wallet with MetaMask. To do this, go to your browser and click on the MetaMask extension. A little window of MetaMask opens and click on the top right corner on My Accounts. Click on Connect Hardware Wallet. I will select Ledger, but if you have a Trezor, you pick Trezor. Hit Connect. Once it discovers your wallet, it will prompt you to choose a Ledger account that you would want to connect to MetaMask. I pick the first account on the list, click login, and it will ask to open Ledger Live. Click open, it will say Ethereum Bridge opened. If you go back to your browser, you'll see that MetaMask asks you to change the settings to WebHID. Click on go to advanced settings. If you don't manage to get to this page, then go to settings on MetaMask, advanced settings, scroll down to preferred ledger connection type and put it on WebHID. Now back to Ledger Live. In the accounts tab, you click on add account. Select Ethereum, name your account and finish. Now, if you click on receive in your Ethereum account, you will see that the receiving address is the same as the one you selected on MetaMask. Verify this address on the ledger device as well and hit done. When you open MetaMask, you can see that you have your regular MetaMask account and a ledger account. And you can see it has the same address as the one we have created. Next, click on the Ethereum application on your Ledger device. Then click on Settings and turn on Blind Signing. Do not forget this step or it won't work properly. And you're all done. We will do a test transaction first to be sure everything works fine. Follow along. Go to OpenSea and sign in using your MetaMask with the account where you currently have your NFTs. So not the one that you just created. Go to the Create tab on OpenSea. We will create a test NFT to test with because you don't want to lose your real NFTs during your transfer trial, right? So drag a random image over here, fill in a name, I write test NFT, ignore all the rest, but select blockchain polygon so you don't pay any gas fees. Don't leave it on Ethereum because this is just a test. Polygon is free, Ethereum is not. So click create. If it works, you get a confirmation. Sometimes your NFT is automatically hidden in this tab. If that's the case, click on the little dots that say more options and click on unhide. That's it. Just like we did before with cryptocurrencies, we need to copy the receiving address of your ledger where we were going to send our NFTs to. So go to MetaMask and click on your other account we just created named Ledger. Click here to copy to your clipboard. Now you copied the address. Go back to the account with the NFTs and click on the three dots of your test NFT. Select transfer. On the bottom right you see another blue transfer button where you have to click on. OpenSea will now ask you where to send it to. Here you paste the Ledger wallet address that is on your clipboard. So just paste it here. Verify the last characters of your wallet address just to be sure. Click on transfer. Hit transfer again. Again, a MetaMask pop-up will appear with some code. Scroll down and click sign. Your transfer is processing. After a few seconds, it will be complete. Your NFT is now on your ledger. Let's see if it works. If you refresh OpenSea, you'll see that your NFT is gone. 
and that's a good sign. Let's head over to MetaMask, click on your Ledger wallet, and we'll see if the NFT is on your Ledger account. Refresh OpenSea again, and it should be there. Again, it can be in the hidden tab. So as mentioned earlier, click on the three right dots and select Unhide. Your NFT should now be available on your collected tab. But what's the difference between keeping my NFT on my regular OpenSea account compared to my Ledger account? When hackers have access to your regular account, they can immediately transfer all your NFTs to their wallet. But if hackers try to get into your Ledger account, they can't get anything out because they need the physical Ledger to confirm the transaction to take it out of your account. Therefore, only you will be able to make the transaction with your ledger. So let's take our NFT out of the ledger account back into the normal account as before. To do this, we will need to copy our address where we will send you our NFT to. So go back to your regular account on MetaMask and click here to copy the address to the clipboard. Go back to the ledger wallet, select transfer, click again on the blue transfer button, paste the address you've copied over here and click transfer again. Now this time MetaMask will pop up and ask you a couple of things. Plug in your ledger device to your computer, fill in your pin, select the Ethereum app as mentioned on MetaMask. I know this sounds confusing because the NFT was on the Polygon network, but Polygon is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum, meaning it's built on top of Ethereum. So don't worry too much about this and follow the instructions exactly as mentioned here on MetaMask. Go to settings, check if blind signing is enabled on your ledger. Application is now ready. Click on this message on MetaMask, hit sign. The same message from MetaMask will appear on your ledger. On OpenSea, you will see the message that the transfer is processed. When you get the green check mark, it means it was transferred successfully. So congratulations, your NFT is now back to your normal regular account and is not on your ledger anymore. You can now sell it or do whatever you want with it. To verify, let's head over to our regular OpenSea account, refresh our page, and it should appear over here within the collected tab or the hidden tab. You can easily unhide it by clicking on the three dots, select unhide, confirm, and there you go. Now that we tried with this test, NFT, you can do this with your real ones. There is a lot of people that don't know a lot about NFTs, so watch this video over here that explains exactly everything you need to know about the NFT space. Thank you for watching and see you next time guys, bye!